Now, Sri K. T. S. Tulsi. Tulsi ji, I know you are a luminary, legal luminary, but we have only two minutes. You can speak in two minutes. Only for you two minutes. Make ya? No, no, no. There are three more, three, four more. Two, two minutes. Two, two minutes. Everybody, let's stretch it two minutes. I, I only want to say that the real issue in the matter of appointment of judges is not who will appoint, but how we will appoint. And there needs to be a transparency. There needs to be wider consultation in the matter of establishing a, a data. Like the law minister was saying, that there will be a pool of judges for the whole country. Now, even at that stage, if there can be some mechanism by which the bar can be consulted, or the bar council can be consulted, because we know the judge quality of judges better. We appear before them just as they know about our, our ability or lack of it. We also know about the level which, which they possess. And I would commend to this house the American system whereby the name is proposed by the Attorney General. And the Attorney General sends the name to the President. The President first sends that to the FBI and another one to the American Bar Association. And the American Bar Association considers the validity of that name. They put up ballots in every state Supreme Court. And in those ballots, there are three options which are given recommended, strongly recommended, not recommended. In 230 years, there's not been one appointment in the United States where the bar had not recommended the proposal and not endorsed it. There should be some, con some process or consultation. Okay, the bar That's can summon all. them, summon the nominees, can cross-examine them, can find out okay. about their integrity. So I believe that eventually we must have a mechanism where we can broaden the conspectus of okay. examination of the suitability okay. of judges. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir.